at the start of something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to kill the Don. Not Kami, not Polly, not anyone regular. The Don. Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war thumb. From today, we are at war. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. Hey, it true the Don slipped Carla the bump, not you? Yeah. It wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Lesson, Carlos. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our business. Forget about that. We stick to our own till this is over. I'll remember who's on the wrong side. Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first we have to soften him up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off, so we need to scare them into abandoning Morella's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot, the rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. Pulling out all the stops, boobs, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellas are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay, I'll talk my way to the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with them there, and they'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom.
family in the city. know how to drive that thing. You better hope I do. What's gonna save your ass once the Lottie's head is popped? Sam's over by the dock buildings figuring out how to get you on board. Come on! You don't want to miss your pleasure cruise. like a family to him. He reads his paper, he smokes one of the crusty cigars. I'm not going to do it. You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. The sailor back there who works on the steamer, his head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. I know you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. How do I get away? Polly's borrowed a after the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen them. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. It's a good time. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. Suits ya. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time.
think he's gonna pull this off? He sure is shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. He don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean the toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. Listen, shipmate, go someplace else. should be elsewhere. Downstairs and back to work. Anyone who's anyone seems to be on the steamer. Yeah. And us. <laughs> I think I got him in trouble. Ah, uh, drink up and enjoy your boat what? ride. What? You think you're something you're not? <laughs> Seen the janitor any place? Nah, but uh, if I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room. Say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that.
with Salieri. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. Jeez, that hurts. I'm gonna lay you out! Son of a... Hey! As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, hey, hey. thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son, Bill, left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased that is organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday and for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? 